Hello students, this is Mr. Allen here. I wanted to make a real quick video on how to graph piecewise defined functions. Uh, I'm going to be showing it on one of the older TI-84s, um, which is a little bit different. If you have one of these newer TI-84 Plus CEs, I would recommend that you don't watch all of this video and watch the other video I'm going to put a link to. Um, but I'm going to do it with the older version because that's primarily what we rent out. So, so let's say we want to um, graph this graph in our graphing calculator. We've got this piecewise defined function. So what we're going to do here is we're going to turn it on. I'm going to clear it out here. And I'm going to go ahead and make my window kind of the same thing that we have here. Scale is zero, that's, or a scale is one. I'm going to start at zero. And then let's go up to two. So to graph this, I'm going to plug in negative x and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put divided by left parenthesis and then you're literally going to type x and now here's kind of the tricky part you're going to go to second function math which is test and then I'm going to choose option number five um, oops not option number five option number six which is less than or equal to and then I'm going to put negative one so what, and I'll just go ahead and hit graph now. So what that's going to do is that's going to graph negative x, but it's going to restrict it to only x's that are less than or equal to negative 1. So I use this division bar and then these parentheses, and then this is the test condition for that graph. Now I'm going to go to a, another graph, a y2, and I'm going to do this middle piece. This is the hardest one because I'm going to have to do two condition statements here. So this is going to give me, uh, so this is x squared. And again, I'm going to divide and then parenthesis. And now I'm going to do the following. I'm going to do, so negative 1 less than x less than 1. That's the same thing as saying x is greater than 1. So I'm going to choose option 3 here. So there's x is greater than 1. But I also have to have x is less than 1. So here's the other thing I'm going to have to do. I'm going to go to test. But then instead of test, I'm going to go over here to this logic menu. And I'm going to use the uh, and connector here. So notice it says x is greater than 1. And I want x to be less. Oops, I messed that up. That should be x is greater than, let me insert, negative 1 is what we want. And I want it to be x is less than, so now i got to go down to number 5, positive 1, and then I'm going to close it up. Now let's see how we're doing so far. There we go. Now you will notice that there is a slight break here. Um, there really isn't. If we go to the table, um, you can see, now of course it's not going to be very helpful right now um, because if we're only doing this from negative, that's why these are all errors because it's not even defined. Let me change my table set here. Let's do a table set up. Let's start at negative two and then let's go up by point ones. So if we look at our table here, um, we can see that, see this second function doesn't even start until we get to negative one. And then at negative one, it's one. Okay. This next function is not going to start until after that. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, even though it looks like that there is a gap here, there is not. And hopefully you understand that. So anyways, let's go and do the third piece. So I'm going to go down to this third one. And this third piece is going to be negative 0.5x squared plus 1.5. And then I'm going to do the division thing with the left parenthesis. And here I just want x is greater than or equal to 1. So x, second function math, greater than or equal to 1. And then, oops, did not hit the right thing there. Greater than, which is number 4, there we go, equal to 1. And now we should get the graph the way that we want it, okay? So um, so that's it. I just wanted to kind of show you. And by the way, I know this graph isn't perfect with this one. I just kind of made this up. I, I got this image off online. and So this would be this graph that I have here. Okay. 
So that's that. Hopefully that helps. That's how you graph a piecewise defined function. Key idea is here this division with these test conditions for the, for the variables. Um, and I just used, in this case, three different graphs to give me the graph of the piecewise defined function that I want.